guys welcome back to my channel this is Isaac insights today I am far away I'm in, uh, in Vega County by the way thank you so much for your continuous support I'm here I've been sent by one of my subscriber who sent me to come and uh, and help help her some work and I thank God for that also and as I always tell you I always have my Mutua Mukono here <laughs> it's my friend, not just Mutua Mukono. So I have my friend here. He's my farm manager. By the way, he's the one who deals with uh, handling my sugarcane plantations. That is ensuring that I get land when it comes to leasing. And uh, also he ensures that my sugarcane are well. When it comes to planting, he's always there, managing those who are doing, and he's always part of the team because he's good when it comes to Mamboya Jembe. So guys, I would like him to introduce himself. Uh, Mr. Juma, yes. kindly introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Juma. Uh, Sema majina ako yote. Michael Juma Mleshe. Ndiyo mm majina -hmm. yangu. Ni mwenyewe na kaa kaundi ya kakameka, lakini napatakana sehemu ya butere. Kwa wale wenye wanajua butere sabatia, huko ndiyo area yangu. Mwenye napatakana sana sana, lakini kaundi ni ya kakameka. Hmm. Mm. Wambia mime ni nani? Uh, huyu ni Mr. Isaac, na tumetoka na ye mbali sana. Kwa wale unaona ye akona mwili kidogo kunishinda, lakini tumetoka na ye mbali kidogo. Cheki. Na tunafanya Kwa... kazi. Hakuna mwili kwa hapo. <laughs> eh. Tunafanya kazi na ye, kazi ya ukulima. Mimi na deal na miwa, ukitaka kupanda miwa, kinipea shamba yenye hata ijai limwa, bora iwe shamba inaiza limwa. Mimi naiza lima na tusaidiane mpaka nitoe chakula si ati miwa peke yake, mm. chakula yoyote mi naweza toa hapo. Bora unipe kila kitu yenye inahitajika. Bora sema uko na uko na group yako. Eh, niko na group yangu yenyewe. Na, na pia ile experience uko eh. nayo ndio wewe unatumia. Eh, so my people when it comes to sugar cane plantation, I always use him. And also, by the way, during building, is the guy I, I used to tell, hey, uh, we need some trees. He's, he, he knows how to talk to people. He goes around the village looking for those trees. So I just get a report, hey, Isaac, we have got this tree. Can you come over? By the way, he also knows the prices. So that is why even when it comes to leasing a shamba, once he tells me a price of a certain land, I have no problem because he know he know the estimate, he knows what I want. So he's generally my friend. So Mr. Juma, I want you to tell people and ataka wambia watu mutu akitaka mfanyie kazi. Lakini si sai sai bada nanifanyia. Sai bada nanifanyia unaona sai tumepata nimepata kazi pande ingine bigger county and I felt siyezi tembea peke yangu na niko na jama wangu ni mutu wangu wa mukono siyezi ya ni mutu wa mukono hata weo kinidia jamba kuwako mime nitatuma ee enda uangalie ee wanasema aji mukielewana na ee weo umeshinda musipoelewana na ee sina abudi na usinichukie ama usimuchukie kwa sababu tunajuana kwa bilemba so Mr. Juma ibuji ambia watu wewe mtu akiwa na kazi wewe unahitaji nini kazi kama gani si mtu anaweza kuwa na ngaja watu eh mtu anaweza kuwa hata na kazi ya shambani venye umesema mtu akiwa na kazi ya shamba akuitie shamba hata kama ijai limwe wewe unaweza organize uhakikishe iko perfect mm -hmm. wewe unahitaji nini uh, ukiniita nitakuja kwanza nione hiyo shamba iko wapi unajua kuna mashamba ziko Unaweza pata shamba zingine ziko zile za mtoni, ziko tafauti kutengenezwa na za juu. Kwa sababu za mtoni ziko na maji mingi. Na za juu huku tunahitaji mvua. Kwa hivyo huyu kiniita kama ni upande wa shamba tutaelewana tuone ni nini unataka ipandwe na hiyo shamba iko wapi. Tukishaelewana kama hiyo shamba utaka tuseme unataka miwa na hiyo shamba iko kwa mtoni. Hii hatutangoja mvua. Hiyo tutachipanga wenyewe tuone obvious maji iko. Miwa tutapata namna gani na italimu aje. Mimi nitakueleza vile italimu first tutaangalia tunaweza limia makono tunaweza limia ngombe tunaweza limia tractor lakini sasa hapo kwa shamba ya mtoni tutaongelea mikono kwa sababu tractor ama ngombe haiwezi 
tufanya kazi pale mm. e, kwa hivyo tutaangalia na tutapanda tutatafuta mbegu ya miwa tutaweza kuweka pale tutaifanya mbolea kila kitu tutaweka mpaka miwa itakuwa kubwa na hata ikifika unajua unaweza panda miwa na nikuje kwako ni kueleze wanapanda hivyo wanafanya hivyo na tufanye hivyo na mimi niende na ifika mahali kushinde mm. miwa inaendanga na step kama bado ijatoka iko na kazi yake ikishatoka ikifika rika fulani hivyo 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 mpaka vile itafika hadi venye mbolea inaekwa kila kitu mpaka vile itafika kubwa kwambie wewe ndio unanifanyia mimi sijui <laughs> mimi ndio mimi anakuanga kuniambia hey Isaac hii miwa imefikisha hapa sasa nikuulize wewe unaweza fanya wapi kazi mali. kwa sababu unaweza sema mahali popote mtu akuita Mombasa mhm mm. Sasa unajua huko Mombasa tunaweza enda kulingana na vile tutaelewana sababu unajua sasa mimi ni mtu nakaa western. Mm. Ukinitoa western lazima tutaongea au nipe transport ya kwenda huko. Mm. Eh niende nione hiyo shamba. Maana unaweza niita Mombasa mimi nazoea shamba ya huku western ifike Mombasa inishinde. Mm. Sababu siweme kwa mfano mimi sasa Mombasa sijui mvua inanyesha wakati gani na unajua huku kwetu vile nimekuambia mwanzo hii shamba ya huku juu. Mimi naweza kuambia tupande miwa hata kama kabla mvua ijaanza kunyesha maana yake najua wiki ijayo ama mwezi ijayo already tutakuwa na mvua na miwa inamaliza mwezi mmoja ndio mm. itoke chini lakini ukiniita huko lazima tuangalie vizuri kwa makini maana naweza kufanyia kitu iende wrong kwa mfano na sijazoea huko na nimefanya mm. vitu za za western nimespeleka Mombasa mm. kwa hivyo mimi na inaweza fanya kazi popote kazi yoyote lakini lazima tuangalie ni wapi na inafanywa namna gani sio tu kuja kufanya tu kuambie mtu akitaka uende mahali anatuma fare Waambie wewe mapato yako si mazuri yenye mtu at expect uende na fare yako so anatuma fare na ukule fare ama unakulanga fare ah, siwezi kula fare <laughs> so good people uh, but i will say this if you come from western region it becomes easy because we know our weather, our weather pattern we know when it will rain and that's why i told you in one of my videos that uh, we are worried it is raining in january yet we know we need to plan in march so good people if you want his service yes ananisaidia na siwezi mkatalia ni kama ni mtoto mdogo ukitaka service yake mimi pia nitafurahia kama unataka ku direct how something is done hata ukitaka kutafutia shamba tu ulise ufanye nini unasema Akidugu. na Mm. ni niwaambie watu mm. uh, mimi pia na deal na ngombe zile za great kwa hivyo unaweza kuwa na ngombe wewe mwenyewe uenda uko mbali ama uko ama vitu zinakusumbua ukiniita kwako naweza kuja na ni kuadvise vile zizi inatengenezwa na inafaa kutengenezwa wapi ngombe inafaa kukula aje kukunywa maji naweza kuundia hizo vitu zote mpaka hata nikimaliza kwako siku mbili kadhaa utapata uenda hata nikitoka nikienda na zianze utaona kazi yangu na uenda ya yule mtu mwingine mwenye utaona tofauti kwa hapo kidogo unajua nimetembea kidogo hmm. nimeona mtu ananunua ngombe anarusha hapo na chatu hapo na anaenda ngombe pia ulindwa hmm. e, ukilinda vile inatakana hmm. itakusaidia vile hata wewe unataka ama itakupea mapato yenye utafikiria hmm. kwa hivyo mimi ni mtu wa kazi mingi naweza kubora tuongee ni kazi gani unahitaji na tunaweza lakini sema kazi ya mkono kazi ya mkono usimuita akuja afunze kwa private school <laughs> ama utaenda hapana <laughs> kazi ya mkono <laughs> kazi ya mkono ndio naelewa sana eh. Eh. so good people huyu ni rafiki yangu anaitwa Juma yeye ndio ananifanyia by the kazi zangu mingi zile mashamba niko nazo za miwa zote yeye ndio amesimamia na anajua hii inafaa ilimwe lini hii paliliwe lini hii inakatwa lini kama tuko na miwa inafaa ikatwe lini ikatwe mwezi wa tutaangalia sasa hiyo lakini tuseme mwezi wa tatu inafaa itoke eh mwezi wa tatu mwezi wa 4 hapo. hapo ingawaje pia waambie tulikata hiyo miwa lini ndio nisikue naambia watu ukipanda miwa eh, ukipanda miwa hiyo first time ndio inaendanga 14 months yes na ukipanda wakikuja wa harvest first time second Next. time waambie last hiyo miwa tunaenda kukata last tuli tulikata mwezi wa sita last year tulikata mwezi wa sita lakini kufikia mwezi wa tatu itakuwa ready itakuwa tena ready kwa hivyo ukihesabu mwezi wa sita kufikia mwezi wa tatu eh, utapata less than 12 months, 12 months. na miwa iko tayari tutakuwa tunaenda pale tuchukue ka video at least watu waone si ati tunawaambia miwa iko tayari na atu waonyeshi Otherwise mimi nisemwe asanteni sana. Huyu kumfikia 
by bad luck hajawahi juu ni mkulima mtu anapenda tu as in zile kazi zake zina rotate mashamba simu wa inaanguka na anakanyaga so mkitaka kumfikia lazima mnipigie simu otherwise nisema asanteni sana Mungu awabariki